Vocal support for both teams here at Suez Stadium as it plays host to its final. Really changed his 11 in one game, and that was the final group game. Since then, it's been the same starting 11. Aha, Hoja and Bradell. Who is the one coming in for Pepe? From the general coordinator, which comes now. And indeed, Bamlak Desema, Sivorian goalkeeper. Great chance here, Kradea, a little space, snap shot! Remaining places in the semi-finals, only one could be victorious today, as uh, Bunja is called it almost. Mares in possession though, looks to go himself, creates an opportunity again, sits up for the second chance ball. Right for this Algerian side, but Kersi immediately into possession for Côte d'Ivoire, being dispossessed by Atal, who can one over Vince Bainey, but I failed to make use of that ball winning on Algerian descent and proudly Algerian. The man who played all over front to South Africa, a couple of nations. Chance for Bill Ailey to take a run at Bagayoko, gets uh, through his man. Way was quite a bit, shall we say. Fails to keep control of this one, Bunja, but recall. Ahead of the uh, 2013 African Cup of Nations meeting between these sides, and they're uh, run by uh, Bilaili. Zaha doing his part to help defensively. Vince Bainey looks to go around the outside of Zaha. Nigeria got 2 0 up. Fuguli is in this lineup today, he scored in that tie, and then I think it was uh, potentially haunt Algeria once again. It's a 3 1 win in their last African Cup of the final stage. There's Badella wide. A drill chart here, and Bolly nearly beaten for the first time in the game. Might have got something on this. It's eventually been knocked over the line by Jonathan Kodja. He looked a little casual on that, but he was gifted time. Got it a decent shot. Bolly, I think, got something on this. But a glorious effort from Gradel early on. Indeed, Bolly covering his goal so spectacularly well. Gets fingertips on it. Zaha. Way through. Skip kindly for the goalkeeper. Server at his defence. Not much on it. The uh, slightly dampened dewy surface every so often can skip unkindly for goal. Now Zaha breaking inside that 18 yard area. Tight angle here. Tries for the cutback. Again missed out. On Coaching Nottingham Forest. Some defensive uh, work required here. Cut back and a glorious chance. Algeria have the goal. Sofia Figuli scores again against Côte d'Ivoire. Not for the first time at the Africa Cup of Nations. Figuli on the score sheet against Côte d'Ivoire. A brilliant strike from the Galatasaray man. And the celebrations for Algeria, who have now scored 10 unanswered goals. This was leading goal scorer in the... Uh, Asian Champions League this past campaign. Over to go. Murphy to see it away. Curling ball in. Borley will come out and collect. Joint leading goal scorer for Club Nice as well. Pinarmi. Send that ball in. Trying to get into chances here, Kuruguay. They just can't find steering that ball away, but Kuruguay back in position. Kessi through the centre. Nations tournament. Premier League winning team. A handful of seasons ago now under Claudio Ranieri. Wins from four, the only time they won five out of five. They went on to win the title in 1990. It seems to be inspiring something. Speaking of inspiration, Kessi with an inspirational looking run. Again, proving industrious, might it spill free inside the 18-yard area, eventually it's a call that's coming favourable. Oh, sends it up. Ah, with an attempted flick on for Cordier that's nowhere near the... It's a tunnel. Comes forward here, if Orient's looking for a levelling goal. Mahrez, he chip through, Algeria looking better here, Mahrez running onto this, great space for himself and then fires wide. Brilliant from the Algerian captain. Showing his class and ability again. A little run, 
creates space for himself almost effortlessly, takes the defender out of the equation, but then fails to hit the target. Both these sides guilty now of missing the target when they've had the chance to fire on goal. Zibarev Sangare plays under Gradel, this man. To Lou. Gradel, great run from Gradel. He's got support in the form of Kocia. Zaha waiting at the back post. Sangare there as well. The back onto the field of play, having received medical treatment off. Figuli, meanwhile, has nearly kicked his own player in the painting into end match. Into a danger area here. Bunja off the chest. Battling hard. Make his way back up. Make his way in. And who is a regular right back. Delivery in. Data area. Team will assist here. And Ben Mardi will have to make a decision. Well, well, meanwhile, gets so many successful challenges playing in his uh, league. Great chance here. Lovely square ball and nearly turned home. Colonel pounds the ground in frustration. After that ball in from Bagayoko, unable to turn it around successfully, and again could have won. Missed the chance to find the opener and breach the Algerian defense for the first time in this tournament. Bagayoko runs through two. Goal scorer who gets away from his man now. Looking to set up Atal on the run. It's a little too heavy potentially from Atal. Goes down. Nothing wrong, says the referee. But out for the corner it goes. 25 minutes down. A gun on Traore under pressure here. Nobody will ever question uh, Bunja's work ethic, running ability. He's waiting in the area for that cutback to come. Bowo trying to close down the angle as uh, Atal potentially had the in this tournament. In fact, uh, does keep uh, Suleiman Dumbia, the Ivorian, who sits on the bench, being kept up. Bully's goal. You can imagine it. So there's Canal, which runs just shy, you know, in the back four. And uh, Belmadi. Ball out of play off Atal. Uh, qualifiers. Sangade off. Who's rumored to have Barcelona's sniffing. The record breaking Baghdad Bunja for his club side. Looks to score his second goal in this tournament. And into the crossbar and away. Algeria have that one goal advantage, but. Bunja spurns the opportunity to give Algeria a second goal from the penalty mark. Look to go straight down the centre. And the Ivorians feel that they are vindicated. Space, Mares. For anyone at the back post. And it's four in South Africa. Rustenberg in 2013. Great opportunity here for Baghdad Bunja. Did he go down? Penalty straight up. Ronel feeds. Playing into the wind. Wunlo Kulibali into the path here of Kocia. Tight angle takes a deflection. And out for the. It is third goal of this tournament. Delivery in here. And there's a shot. Might have been sneaking in, but for the intervention of Bolli as well. From the corner, set piece. And Bolli punches it away. Near side. Figuli. Bunja. Running onto it is Mares, and then rather handy from an aerial delivery, potentially from set pieces as well as Bilaili goes down from the set piece. Mares goes deep, players lining up, split opportunity here, and uh, very warm conditions around 38 degrees Celsius. Well, one Algeria, one through ball here, great chance. Can he make up for the penalty miss? No, he can't. But that Bunja. Being closed down by two defenders and a goalkeeper. Out for the corner it goes. Algeria maintain their pressure on the defence, but a perfectly timed delivery into a danger area. Sylvain Boa, big left hand to keep that away. And deflect that ball out. It's a 1 1. Ball in here. It's the goal scorer, Figuli. Flicked forward by Bilaili, it's too far forward. That ball down cleanly enough into Figuli now inside that 18 yard area, chipped toward the back post. Bunja from it in defense. Bear in mind, Algeria have already had to do so with Atal gone. The two Algerian players flicked it out to Kodja, who goes around the outside. Zion Kodja, and now finally, Algeria's defense has been breached. Jonathan Kodja has caught a while back on level terms. 
10 unanswered goals from Algeria and Mbouli's fine run of nearly 450 minutes without conceding in Algerian colours brought to an end as Konja has his second of the tournament and Bunja's penalty miss now maybe proving costly for the time being in Algeria an hour gone Algeria leading by a goal to nil chance to make it two and that ball in a sense is Chikumara part of the Wida Casablanca side and uh, Yusuf Belayli part of uh, the all last games in a group stage being played simultaneously a of course, between uh, some of the top African players and the Premier League go around the outside of uh, defenders of fun Kissy inside the area appeals for a handball here successful in the Coupe de France final against Paris Saint-Germain Ben Sabaini just rallies the 22 year old from AC Milan who manages to slot the ball comfortably into the back Mr. City man out on loan this past season to keep Algeria in front in the penalty shootout against Namibia in a 4-1 dropping in the group stages the left footer of Lyon Half of extra time, Andy Delors, who had one touch in the game, a free kick that he narrowly missed. Oh! It is fifth Africa Cup of Nations, the 25th of their goalkeeper. Meanwhile, from the penalty mark, and a man who has no lack of experience in firing home successful penalties goes very key member of Esperanza's Champions League winning team in 2018 up against Zeredia, captain on the day into the woodwork in Côte d'Ivoire are going